Ooh, what's up? The madman's at it again. I'm trying to get the damn trash out. <laughs> so listen, it's kind of cool that we have the gate. You know, the cool thing is people can just kind of drive up, set stuff at the gate when we need it. Um, and the way this whole testing stuff works, I mean, you got so many people going, oh, I got relatives that's got the COVID-19. There ain't that many tests out there. Um, Crystal is living proof, uh, first-hand knowledge. <laughs> She's living proof that they're saying in order to even be seen to get a test. Now, some people may, some people may get away with it differently. Let's just word it that way. But Dr. Phil just did a big special. Trump, the vice president, they've all said... There's, there's so many fake things being said on Facebook where people are saying they got it and they really don't. It's like Crystal. They said that unless she's running that extreme fever, that there's no reason to even come in there. So they literally said in order to see her, it take up to like five days, and then you got to have the test. And then to get the answer, it takes a couple of days. And they said that if she started coughing around last friday that it could just be pollen because she's not running the fever um but they're also saying that by the time that she actually starts showing signs like she's going to show signs over the next couple of days before she'd ever be able to go take a test and they're like there's no reason to come take a test <laughs> because by the time you come take a test if you really have it you're showing signs so again there is so much fake shit out there on Facebook. There's people saying they got it that don't have it. They just have allergies and they're hypochondriacs and they're trying to get attention on Facebook. Um, there's so many things like that going on. I mean, you know, you, you already got the people hoarding, uh, you know, and doing that stupid drama. Then you got all these other people that are just trying to create their own drama. Uh, then you just got those people that are just scum dickheads that are just trying to start fights with everybody on facebook you know i made the analogy this morning people on facebook right now have been stuck in their house so long it's like a 14 year old kid with a can of spray paint they're just trying to get out and cause some mischief that's all they're doing they're trying to cause some mischief um if first off how is it that me and zay nothing so if my wife had it, and she's had it since last Friday, I think we'd all be sick at this point. But it's smart. We're just closing the gate. If you want to drop something off at the gate, that's fine. We're not going anywhere. Have no, no reason to go anywhere. Everybody needs to take this serious. Everybody needs to go watch today's episode of Dr. Phil. And they got a dude that works... And that his job is to deal with germs. And they're point blank saying everybody walking around with the mask on is a friggin' waste of time. Number one, you got people hoarding the mask. You know, earlier I did a video just to fuck with people because I was just in the mood. But I'm trying to be serious here. You know, it's, it's insane how horrible some of these people are acting. I mean, first, you know, I'm an entertainer. That's my job. So for me to make jokes and have fun on Facebook, that's one thing. Uh, for me to want to throat punch two little bitches for acting like little bitches, <laughs> that's just a biker in me. Probably never going to let that die. But I ain't out just falsifying information, trying to go, look at me, look at me, look at me, give me your attention. Anytime I scream, give me this attention, it's because it's what I do for a job. It's it's the radio station. It's making fun of stuff. It's trying to make you folks laugh. Because honestly, everybody's been trapped in the house how many damn days? You should be laughing about something. So for the ones that hate me, well, congratulations, you hate me. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm not going to stop. But I really do need people to start taking this a little serious. Now, if you go watch today's Dr. Phil... I'm not even a Dr. Phil guy. Like, I record it every day in case there's something good on. Well, today, he, he basically says, I'm doing the show today with no studio audience, and he brought in a bunch of people to talk about this. 
So go find it. Go find today's episode because they got a dude that is a professional who works with germs every day. And he is saying that if you are walking around scared, you're overreacting. This is just a super bug of a flu. So, you know, he's saying that if you don't go out, you're creating the, and they're calling it because they're using the word panic with pandemic. Can't remember exactly how they pronounced it, but they're saying that they, you know, by everybody freaking out, they're causing a global fear. Like you're globally scaring the living shit out of everybody. And they're saying, don't do that. Just have common sense. I mean, if you don't have sex with hookers, you're probably not going to catch a whole lot. My wife, on the other hand, if she possibly did catch something, you have to remember, my wife was in that grocery store around how many people? Every single day since this started. So, but let's face facts. My wife's not running any crazy fever. Uh, she started coughing, start, started coughing a little more last night about two o'clock in the morning. She just kept coughing. Then this morning, it's I got to call my manager because they're not going to let me come to work if all I'm doing is coughing. Because let me just tell you what's happening in the store. If any of y'all want to be a DJ Scotty, go up in a damn Walmart and just start coughing. You want to see friggin' pandemonium? Friggin' people will freak out everywhere. I can't tell you how many people standing in the Walmart watched my wife cough. And, I mean, the girl just about jumped out of her damn weave. Oh, my God, you're coughing. Oh, my God, are you you need to have a mask on. I can't believe you're doing like that. And then she runs up there and raises hell with management. And then management comes down there. And it's like, hey, bitch, just put all your free shit in your buggy that you're getting with your EB card and just leave already. There ain't no reason to stand here and start all this drama. But that's what's really happening out there. That is what's really happening. It's sad. It's sad that's the world we live in. Completely sad. But if y'all just act like you got some damn decency, as long as you're not French kissing the doorknob, you're probably okay. If you're not reaching for the damn door at the bathroom and then picking your nose or <laughs> you're probably not going to have too many issues. If you're at a gas pump, how many damn times have you ever picked up a gas handle and the shit not be covered in gas anyways? Get the paper towels that's right there with the window you know, scrubber is. Pick up a handful of paper towels. Pick up the pump. Pump your shit, put it back. But look, if you just do everything like normal and touch everything like normal and just wash your hands before you pick your nose, you will probably be okay. That's reality, folks. Reality. So, without me trying to get too funny and too many jokes, we can't light a fire. Everything's wet. See, my kid is enjoying this whole... There we go. Barrel, fire barrel, fire barrel, right there. There you go. So anyways, so you have all these people saying airborne viruses. Well, are you standing in front of somebody while they're coughing and spitting in your face? Like, think about it. I mean, if you're just walking, the guy, shush, the guy who was on the show today that is a germ specialist said, if you're walking through a store, Go watch this, folks, and learn something, and don't just learn shit off of Facebook. He literally says, if you're walking through the store, you don't have to have a mask on, that you're probably not going to catch anything. The only way you're going to catch something is if the dude is coughing and spitting in front of your face. Like, when everybody laughs, <laughs> a little spit comes out of your mouth, right? We, we kind of know that, right? We kind of know that. So what I'm trying to tell you is exactly what the germ guy said. Go watch the damn show, people. Quit getting your fucking information off of Facebook. Quit getting your information from the girl that took two night courses at the DeKalb College and to says she's a nurse. Go listen to the real information out there. He point blank says, you're probably not going to have any problems just walking around with a mask off. You don't have to have a mask on. But again... Are you walking up and high-fiving your buddies? <coughs> What's up, man? Fuck no, you're not doing that. 
So that's the point. I need you to start being smarter, people. I need you to start being smarter. Really start thinking about it. Unless you're sneezing in your hand and then high-fiving somebody, you're not going to have a problem. Unless you're spitting. Like if I'm in a conversation with me and you and you're two feet from my face, which God knows six foot is what you're supposed to be. But if I go... Now, why would you have stood there for that? When you know good and well, you're supposed to have a six-foot difference. So, of course, if I did that and blew spit all up in your face, you could get sick. Use your brains, people. Treat this like you would any other damn flu. Have, have enough common sense. Yeah, this is a super bug. Yeah, this can fuck you up. We know that. But it's up to us to be normal, everyday citizens. You got all these other quack jobs out there saying we got to shut the country down. This ain't friggin' China. This ain't Korea. You can't just shut down the free states. And do you realize what that would do to every small business? Homie here supports local small businesses because I am one. So I depend on local money just like you guys do. Because do you know, if y'all don't shop local, do you know what you're going to do? You're going to cripple all these mom and pop stores. And do you know who's going to stay in business? Amazon. Walmart. Those people will stay in business while they put out every small time mom and pop family owned business out there. Now, you want to save America? You want to make America great? You do your part and take care of the ones that, that have been here taking care of us forever. We've all gone to mom and pop shops, man. Keep all that in your mind. I mean, it's real simple math. It's real simple math. For instance, one of my sponsors, you know, we talk about the domino effect. So one of my sponsors is a tow truck driver. Well, guess what? Not a whole lot of traffic on the road now, is it? Which means not a whole lot of wrecks. Well, so people say, well, that's nice. It's not a whole lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. It's nice. There's not a whole lot of wrecks. Mm -hmm. That's true. It's nice that there isn't. Guess who's affected? My tow truck driver. And they don't even have to be wrecks. It could be cars broke down on the side of the road. Everybody's affected. The stores are having a hard time getting products because the truck drivers can't deliver it. The truck drivers can't deliver it properly because their hours have been cut back. And they can't get a lot from the warehouse because the warehouse people have been cut back. Do you see Do you see this huge domino effect? And it's up to us, the American citizens, the blue-collar workers who run this damn country. We're the people who hold this country together. We're the glue. But you got to shop mom and pop, man. You got to go to your local places like like Buckeye's restaurant. Do you know I'm I'm like 7 or so miles from them and they're delivering up to 5 miles away. I said I'll meet you down at the damn four-way stop sign if you'll deliver me some food. We'll treat it like a drug deal. I'll pay you over the phone. You set my food at that damn stop sign. I'll pick it up like, like we're dropping money off for a kidnapping. You just set my food down. I will come and pick up my food. I will get in my truck and leave. That's how you support mom and pops because you know what? We've needed them all these years, and guess what? They need us now. Think about this, people. We have got to be smarter about all of this. Okay, so let's read. I do need to ask, where are you getting your information? Oh my Jesus, do I got to say it again? Go research. Today, Dr. Phil had a specialist on there who is a CDC guy. He works with germs. This is why I'm saying y'all need to stop getting all your bullshit information off of Facebook and you go listen to the real doctors. Like, don't be listening to no doctor from Emory. Who's trying to say, we got to shut America down or we're going to have an overpopulation of, of hospital beds. Shut the hell up. Don't you know our president, our vice president, all the people in charge, and even the governors are listening to the CDC. And we live right here in Georgia. I've worked at the CDC. I'm a 20-year commercial electrician. I've worked at all three locations, several of them right there on Beaufort Highway. You got some located over near Emory as well. But the point is, don't you know the CDC is the one in charge and they know what's going on? So quit listening to all these little bullshit peon doctors. Your dentist. Don't listen to your dentist about how to catch something. What, we ain't talking about plaque. Quit listening to bullshit. Start researching and getting your real information. Not off of 
peoplemagazine.com, not off these other stupid uh, make-believe Facebook trolling-ass sites that everybody's getting their information off of. Go get it. I told y'all today, I, I came and went live the first time, and I said, the facts are right here on Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil did a special about it. You're, you're listening to a guy whose business is to deal with germs and the effects that germs have on a body. Who are you going to listen to, him or the pharmacist? The guy who works with germs every day or the family practitioner that checks your blood and tells you that you need cholesterol pills? Come on. That'd be like me getting air-conditioned stuff at my house from the mechanic that works on my car, right? Aren't we smart enough to know that? So let's see what we got on some of these questions. Um, da, da, Beth, holy shit, on the morning show we talked to... Da, da, okay, let me scroll on down. We just need a bank made for the citizens. That are no big deal. I'm trying to just keep going. I'm just trying to say facts are facts, man. If people go and get the real facts... And, and that's what I enjoy right there. Cliff keeps saying it. Facts. Y'all keep go and find facts. Get real information, people. I mean, there are so many people scaring the shit out of everybody. Oh, I've got the M94 mask. Well, go listen to what the germ guy said. The germ guy is point blank saying wearing a mask is useless walking around in a friggin' store. But guess what? While all these people have been buying all these damn masks, we now have a shortage of masks in the world because so many people are buying these masks and hoarding them. Like, I've got a friend who tuned in earlier. She has an autoimmune issue because, A, who knew that we were getting our meds from China? Boy, was that dumb because guess what? We're not getting our meds from China now. So here she is. She's a nurse with an autoimmune system issue. She can't even go to work. How about do y'all know that people that have had transplants, like kidney transplants and heart transplants, they have to take a special pill to stay alive. Well, guess what? They can't get their pills no more either, which means they're susceptible of dying or having, you know, rejection on whatever it was they got, the organ. Now, does this strike enough of your nerves to make you want to go research, research, research? Stop getting your bullshit information off of Facebook. If I have to quote Air Supply, I heard it from a friend who, heard it from a friend who, read it on a Facebook, blah, 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 blah. Come on, people. Let me put some humor in if it makes you open your mind up and realize you need to research. Go research. The number one thing Dr. Phil says and the germ specialist, wash your hands. Don't pick your ass and rub your eye because you're going to get some pink eye. Think about this, people. I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying not to just be all funny. I'm trying to make y'all open your eyes that most of the bullshit information you're reading where people just keep hitting share and share and share, it's almost all bullshit information, and it's not real. Uh, Cliff, man, Cliff's on it today. Uh, they're also getting their bullshit information from the media. Oh, yeah, watch out for the media. So I'm just going to say this one time. Look, I know people. I got a phone call over a week ago, and I was told point blank from a relative, don't trust your local media, and y'all forgive me for saying this, but watch out for your local government. And when I say local government, I mean some of your city officials, not, not like Kemp. I'm talking about the other people in the cities, stuff like that. That's what I was told. Watch out, watch out, watch out. So there's a lot, to, there's a lot going on here. All you got to do is research germs. It's all about the knowledge, man. Everybody should be smart enough to know what the hell you're doing. How old are you? I am 49 years old. I know that touching the shitty handle on that toilet and touching my teeth is probably not a good idea. So then you also now have to think that every doorknob is a shitty handle at a toilet. Right? I mean, do you do you touch the doorknobs in the in the truck stop bathroom? Cause I don't. You have to treat everything like that, folks. This is one of them things that, that just happened. It just happened and we gotta get through it. But it's up to all of us because we we can't let America fold, y'all. 
We can't, we just can't stop, stop it. We just can't let it just fold up, man. Like all our money, every one of y'all, like I had to see my friend April have to close, she had to close third base today. Like her, her business, man. Now, I don't mean she shut it down. She's closed. And now she's, here she is, a person that just had to close her business down. And April, one day I want to give April a hug for this. But she closed her business down. And do y'all know what she's typing? Please help my girls. Because now my girls ain't got any money. They ain't got no job. And y'all could just help them by buying them some groceries. Think about that. Little America's dying, y'all. People can try to be all politics. Fuck the politics. I don't care if you vote dumbass, democratic. I don't care if you vote Republican. I don't care if you're pro-Trump, hate Trump. I don't care if you smoke rock, don't smoke rock. Here's what I can tell you. Is it's all us little people that make the world go around. And if we don't stick together right now, if we don't do what we got to do right now, America, as we know, it's going to be gone. I'm not trying to be that conspiracy theory guy. I'm trying to tell you, if you let all these mom and pop places go out of business right now, if you let these places fold, you got nothing. You don't have hometown America anymore. The only people that will survive are going to be these rich mojos, Amazon, Walmart, these big hotels, all these guys that got all that money and they can survive. We can't. Y'all support your local damn businesses. You got to. You got to. You got to support them. They're there when you need a biscuit in the morning. They're there when you need your car fixed. They're there when you when you got a flat. They're there when you need your car towed and you're stuck on the side of the road. You got to be there for them now. I'm running out of daylight. I'm done. Some of y'all go back and watch from the beginning. I tried to repeat myself a few times to keep y'all going. I just need all y'all feeling the energy right now. Do you feel it? Because you need it. You all need the energy right now. You got to help us survive. You can't just keep letting this shit happen. You're going to keep letting everybody say, shut us down, shut us down, shut us down. Did the people saying shut us down got a fat ass bank account because the rest of us will die? You better take this energy. You better go research. You better think about this and you better help us survive. Y'all have a good day. Some things in this world are just subject to change. But y'all can't just let this happen. And that's what some of y'all are doing. Some of y'all are just letting it happen. If you want to be responsible for letting something happen, be, re be responsible for making it work, not making it fail. Y'all have a good night. Share, 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 share. And go research. Y'all go find today's Dr. Phil and learn some real info. Later.